Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a video on how to make a phalanx turret such as this. Uh, I'm not going to be teaching you how to design one at, in terms of style, um, although if you want me to make a tutorial on that I am willing to do so. But today we're just going to be working on very basic firing mechanism. Uh, obviously if you want to add more features you can, but let's just... Well, I mean... It works. So let's get into it. Alright, so first things first, create a base, doesn't matter how big, and put a velocity pivot in the center. So let's just type in velocity pivot. I tend to use the large ones because there is a lot of recoil force and this will be able to cope with it better. Um, now, obviously it is up to you how you make your turret. But personally, I like to use, you know, velocity pivots like this and just make a very basic kind of shape like this. Um, I know some of you will be annoyed by this, so I'll just do that. So there we go, we've got the basic kind of frame of our turret. Okay, now I'm going to add in a button. It's just going to be a toggle button, and that's going to turn our system on and off. And we're just going to get a battery as well, just to put electricity in. And let's connect all of our electricity up right now. I'm also going to rename my button, so let's just call it something simple, um, so activate, and there we go. Alright, next thing's next, let's get a radar. Now, it doesn't really matter which radar you use, I tend to use the phalanx, um, it's, it is really up to you. The radars at the moment don't work as well as they should have. You know, they don't actually work massively well. It'll say it has a range of maybe four kilometers and it's actually got a range of 40 meters. So they, it's it, it's messed up. Um, it works, but it's messed up. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place our turret like this. I'm gonna use a phalanx turret and let's configure this. Now, for this setup, we have to use static because it relies on us constantly detecting a single target. If you put it on sweep, it will send out pulses every single time it detects our position, but it won't hold a constant, yes it is detected all the time. Sweep limit, because it's static, it does not matter, same as sweep speed, so we can leave that pitch angle, that is up to you to configure, it's really, that's just, you know, any offset of pitch. Um, I'm going to recommend that you go to let's say 0.11 FOV on both X and Y maybe increase it if you want to depending on the range you want um, obviously this would be if the radars actually worked because they don't I mean they do but they don't um, let's get a laser just to show that actually hey we are aiming at something put our laser here and we're just going to stick our gun underneath so let's get a light auto cannon just going to put it there we'll get a drum let's put some ammunition in this doesn't really matter what you want to put in it i might put high explosive in because that's exciting and so we've got our gun um but it doesn't have any logic, so let's do that now. It's really simple, and you guys are gonna love it. Let's go into the microcontroller editor. Let's just call this um, radar turret. Add a node, it's gonna be our radar in. Now this is gonna be all the data coming from our radar, and it's gonna be used to control our gun. Now, next thing's next, we are going to need a number. We're going to put that out as our pitch. This is going to be to control our up down, so our pitch. I'm going to do the same for our yaw, which is going to go to our base. We're going to get another one, and this one is actually going to be on off output, and it's going to be trigger. Now, this is going to be to fire the gun. Um, we can obviously add ammo systems so that 
it reads the amount of ammunition and stops firing when we're out of ammo. You guys can add that. I'm sure you'll be able to work out, out how that works. Uh, if you want me to continue this kind of and develop it, just let me know. But so currently this is what we've got. Uh, name it, obviously anything you want, uh, and let's just spread this out. So, when it comes to our radar in, we have her target, four numbers and one output or on off. So let's get some, let's type in reads and we can get top composite read and we'll get channel one. So that's our detected and we'll get two numbers. So two and three for our yaw and our pitch. And we get our on off and you know we can we can just plug it in like this and it will work but it won't work very well so i would suggest firstly getting some function blocks onto your pitch and your yaw so plug those in we'll just organize this here and i will say hey look i tend to do four times x on each one of these and this is just to speed up the pivots it's not necessary if you want you can speed up the pivots themselves the power mode but i feel like this is it's just a simpler way to do it well, to be honest there's no simple way to do it um now the trigger the trigger is also very easy let's just extend the trigger and chug a capacitor in there put the discharge time down to zero so that when we stop reading um detected it'll just stop instantly and you can set the charge time to whatever you want and so this is this is essentially saying okay how long do we have to wait of constant detection before we start firing i'm going to say a second um i just that's the number i've been using next things next we've got our pit controller now you don't need a pit but i like to use a pit to control my pitch because the yours easy it's the pitch that's actually because the pitch is housing the turret it uh and the radar it just tends to be a bit more implausible i guess you could say now i've just realized i've actually got these the wrong way around so we're going to put our let's just swap this around so let's put our cha channel 2 into our yaw glad i just noticed that and so our channel 3 is going to go into our process variable now for the pit um very basic tuning one zero one this works well it works well with anything really you can use this pit tuning setting on pretty much anything and it works incredibly well it adjusts quickly and it sits right on target and there's no jittering about so th this is a great tune setting next things next next um i would suggest just putting your detected to activate your pid controller and let's save this as phalanx turret or whatever you want to call it um i think i spelt it right oh radar turret there we go let's place that there maybe just look at make it look a little bit nicer and now for the logic now we've got a trigger so our trigger can go obviously to our um our auto cannon we don't need to worry about it being loaded. Our yaw can go to our velocity pivot. Our pitch can go to our two pivots up here. Our activate can come from our activation button. Our composite can go from the turret to the controller. And we'll put the laser just on that. Now, obviously we're gonna connect more electricity, so let's do that. And hopefully this doesn't bug through the ground. You can see we probably need to add a bit more weight onto this but if we activate this you will see oh my goodness <laughs> yes yeah, so that's 
yeah, that's pretty good. Um, it'll keep firing at whatever it sees, even like, let's say for example, these binoculars. And it'll continue to trap those binoculars. Turn it off, it just stops. Um, and it's, yeah, it rests. Let's add some weight onto the back of this so that it's a bit more balanced. But yeah. Okay, that's still falling, but you know, you know what my point is. So, off. Oh, well. Yeah, okay, so as you can see, this actually works incredibly well. Um, you know, if we kind of. Obviously, because of the range issue at the moment with radars, it doesn't work terribly well. But I mean, you know, we can go outside the hangar and. It should, in theory, start firing at us. Yep. So, now that you've witnessed me uh, die about ten times. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys can make some of these, you know, paint them up, make them look pretty. Maybe add, like, as I said, you know, the ammo things so that you're not still firing ammunition, trying to fire ammunition when you don't have any. Um or rank, you know, within range, or stuff like that. Um, my next videos will be on further weapon systems that we can add to this and other turrets. Um, I might even do ballistics tracking and ballistics calculators if you wish, um, because as someone who does study physics, I do know how to do these things. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to learn how to do that stuff, consider subscribing, and I will... See you hopefully in the next video. Goodbye.